job offer is how much? Say 120. 120. 120? 120. Right? How many interviews did you go to? For that one or in general? For that one. Oh, that one was uh, four different interviews for that four one. Four different interviews. Online. And they sent you the they sent they sent you the offer letter, right? Yes. Very good. And now the only thing that he's waiting on right now is for them to open up the, the position. It's like that sometimes, whereby you have to open up like you've been approved for the for the job and everything, but now HR has to now open up the, the position. But he has gone through the process. He has gone through done the interviews and everything. Can you talk about the interviews? Go ahead. Exactly. Talk about it. Whew. Okay. Well, I've done several interviews besides that particular one, right? Mm -hmm. So, um, I've done like at least like 30 or 40 interviews mm -hmm. really? in general. So my first set of interviews that I did do, I wasn't really expecting anything to happen. So I just did the interviews to get the, the fear yeah. out because some of those interviews can last over an hour. Mm -hmm. And they're all doing is talking about Oracle, what he's teaching. They're not talking about cookies or donuts. They, they want to know Oracle. Sometimes there's one person asking you a question, an interviewer. Sometimes it's three or four people interviewing me at the same time. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. So um, the interview, it, it, yeah, it's in, it, not to say it's intense, it's just nerve wracking because you don't know what question they're going to ask you. You know? Is it on but, the phone or you have to go? Yeah, I've done phone interviews, I've done video interviews. Mm -hmm. There's, a interview, there's, a, there's another type of interview they have now where that they will ask the questions, but this, it's like your, the question will pop up on the, you download the app, the question will pop up, and you can't look off, you can't use your eyes to look off the screen. You have to look and answer the question. Wow. Mm. So it's recording. So if you look off, they can tell if you're that reading, you're reading yeah. something. Wow. Yeah, you wow. understand? Wow. So then I have interviews where that, um, somebody from India who called me, mm -hmm. called me from India to interview me, like about two weeks ago. Called you me know. from India? Why? You gonna go work in India? No. You know, some companies well, hire IT yeah. people are from India. Yeah. So they will hire yeah, some or hire yeah. somebody yeah. to the interview who really know, and to ask them to interview you to see how much do you know if you're fit for the uh, job. Right. So it's all different kinds of interviews. Mm -hmm. Sometimes three people. Sometimes one person. So, Sometimes it's somebody from another country calling you to do the interview. Yeah. So, so six times you fail. I mean, not to say that I fail. Sometimes that the, the client may not want to hire you based on maybe you ask for too much or maybe that somebody else who they're interviewing you guys are like on the same level and they're trying to see who is the best between you two guys. Not to say that you fail. Mm -hmm. They just may, or my personality may be too may not be what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. So it could be anything you don't really right, know. Right, right. But the thing is, to, to last as long as possible in an interview. The first time I lasted more than, like my first, first interview, the guy asked me one question, it was so simple. He said, you know what? He said, go back and study again and call me when you're ready. Mm -hmm. And I hung up the phone. Right. But that made me want to go and study more. Right, right. So now, the longest interview I've ever had is, is over one hour. So I know I can last one hour. For an interview. So, what do you think was different from the job that you got offered the position that you did better? Was it just experience, or it was? Oh, say, ask the question again. The job that, that you got the uh -huh. uh, accent <coughs> right. Uh -huh. What was it? Experience going through interviews that caused you to to nail that one? No, it was doing the projects, doing the projects, and like over and over, and reading the notes, doing the projects, reading notes, and coming to all the classes, not just the cl this class. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. you know, like, you come to, if you can, come to the Tuesday class, come to the Thursday class, come to the Saturday class, not even after when you're done, after you finish the two months program, like, you gotta keep coming. I'm still, I come, you know, you gotta keep coming, why? It's so much information that the more you know, the easier your job is gonna be. So the job is, so you got the job right now? Yeah. Congress. Thank you. In Atlanta, right? Yeah. You you moved well. into Atlanta? Yes, no. I'm still here. <laughs> I'm here in Maryland. Like this is my home, but like some of the other obstacles cuz I'm not a US citizen. Right. 
I'm not a, you know, some, some jobs require you to have U.S. citizenship sometimes. Mm -hmm. Some jobs require you to have clearance in this D.C. area. Mm -hmm. So what do you do? Do you just stop looking for a job? No, you have to, like, apply anywhere. Mm -hmm. Alaska. He, he, he sent me jobs in Alaska. Oh, and then you do a remote. Yeah, I'm going to Washington. No, he's, no, I mean, if the job is remote, then fine. But he has sent me jobs in Alaska, Hawaii. And they're there? Aurora goes everywhere in the world. Aurora everywhere. So you just you apply, you know. So what? Wait, what, what advice would you give these guys, these lazy students? <laughs> these lazy students. We're not lazy. Reza, <laughs> or, Reza or definitely would know that. But <laughs> what advice would you give all the students? If one advice, I would say, how can we be strong? <laughs> Listen to everything what he tells you to do. That's whatever advice he tells you. If he says. Look at the board. If he says, "Do the projects," do the pro the, do the projects. Yeah, that's what. Do the projects. Yeah. There's, there's there's no way around it. You can't guess. You can't. You ha you have to know. Do the projects. Read the notes and come here and pay attention. No Instagram. No Facebook. No side. No texting your boyfriend. No man. You like you have to forget. Leave them away. Forget the party. Forget the everything. Because this is a six-figure potential job. There's no other place I can go to in the world that I know that I can get a six-figure job without a college degree. You understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, whatever that you're, forget the kids, forget the boyfriend, forget the husband, the wife, forget everything. Because the moment that you're able to step into this level, then you can now bring everybody back. That's why you're. Ready to finish here? Yeah, this is like life or death for me. So don't like, worry about that. Right? No, I didn't ask what he said, but... Huh? Did Good you job. find that when you were going through the interviews, <clears throat> were they asking similar questions at each interview, or was different questions? Many Good question. Yeah. By the time you do so many interviews, there's no really, no question that you haven't heard before that isn't going to surprise you anymore. But what was the common question that you found? The, the different styles of interviews. Like, for instance, the guy from India. That's a common question. Uh -huh. that, oh, the, another thing is, take the rack and data guard at the advance. Right. Take it. Because the guy that called me two weeks ago from India, he didn't ask me anything about admin. Rack and what? Rack and data, data guard. Right, the advance right. class. Yeah. The advance class. So that was a 25 minute interview. I have it on my phone. I recorded it. Mm. And he, all he asked was rack and data guard. That's it. He didn't ask me about auditing. He didn't ask me about what mount stage, you know, is your control. F I mean, what stage is your control? No, no, no. He asked me about rack data guy. That's mm -hmm. it. That's all he cared to know. So that was new for me. But you know, if if you prepare, makes you stronger. Makes you stronger. You know. So whatever questions they throw at you, you may get one or two. Maybe you you don't really know. But that's fine. You don't have to know it because. Oracle is so huge, you don't know everything, you know. But if you answer the majority of the questions correctly, they're like, man, that woman right there, she's good. You know, she's better than the other one that we, you know. So, just mm -hmm. if if do the interviews, even if you don't do well, the first six or ten of them, but just try to see improvement on your interviews. Mm -hmm. By the time you know it, you start to get less nervous. You start talking. You heard the same questions before, then. You start to go, you find out, you find out 30 minutes went past, you survive 30 minutes. What about the certification? Enough, 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 enough with all the so, questions. Sure. No, 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 enough, 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 enough with all the questions. I gotta get back to teaching. <laughs>